And where do you think you're going? Huh? You, you owe us a pilot, pilot for another, another show. show. What? Just check your contract. You'll see we get one more show before we let you go. But, but... Have your new show on our desk by next Monday. Got it? Oh, I can hardly wait to see our little Ralphie. Oh, great. But why did you have to invite the losers? They're our Ralphie's biggest fan. Your son is a huge talent. It's a shame there won't be any more Fatheads episodes. Oh, boys, there will always be reruns. Here he comes now. Welcome home, home, Ralph! Ralph! <laughs> Something the matter, dear? Ah, uh, they're forcing me to make a new show. I don't want to make a new show. He doesn't want to make a new show. I wanted to pursue my dream. I wanted to sculpt the world's largest still life. Now I'll never get to do it. What's your new show going to be about, Mr. Ralph Bighead? I have no idea. What do you mean? Creating an idea for an animated show must be so easy. Oh, Hef, you know nothing about it. No, really, I'll show you. It could be about, uh, mm, deli meats. Hello, Mr. Baloney. <gasps> Look out for Mr. Butcher Knife. No, oh, no, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Home Slice. Hef, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. An idea like that would get Ralph kicked out of his contract. What was that? I said that an idea like that would get you kicked out of your contract. I think you've got your finger on the pulse of America. I do? How would you and your little friends like to help me create my new show? Hmm? Really? We could help? Excuse me, Eden, son. Are you crazy? Asking those idiots to help? They'll ruin it! Exactly, Dad. If I let them do my new show, it can't help but be a failure. They'll have to let me out of my contract, and then I'll be free. I don't know, Rock. This sounds like work. Yeah, and we don't know anything about making animated cartoons. But guys, think of all the joy Ralph Bighead's work has brought to our lives. He needs our help. How can we say no? So how about it, guys? Can you help me out? Okay. We'll, we'll do, do it! it. Here's your budget. Try not to spend the whole thing. And here, this will tell you anything you want to know. 7,291 simple steps to making an animated cartoon. Well, let's make a cartoon. Step one, design the characters. Okay, here's my character. His name is Salami. Get it? Salami, salami! This is Betty Baloney. She's a girl. Okay, this cute little guy I call Lester Roquefort. Let me see. Wow, that looks terrific, Phil. Yeah, this is great. Uh, can I make one little change? Well, sure. I think it should be more like this. And we could just call him Mr. Cheese. Now we need to write the show. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. You seen Robo Frog 5 yet? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, we open up the show in the morning. Betty Baloney wakes up in the deli, okay? Then she says, Ooh, what a beautiful day! The doorbell rings, and she goes to the telephone. Excuse me? Telephone, the telephone rings. It's much funnier that way, don't you think? Oh, yes, definitely much funnier. Oh, yeah, yeah, make it a telephone, because telephones are funny. funny. <laughs> Cartoons are fun. Telephone. Okay, so the telephone rings, and it's Mr. Cheese on the phone. And the cheese says, Hello, Diddy. Do you want to come over? And then, the salami. What? Salami. It should be salami on the phone. And he says, Do I hate baloney? And then he attacks her through the phone. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
The salami ain't the only character, you know. Why can't the cheese say it? The cheese wouldn't say that. How would you know? I'm the cheese. I know what he says and don't says. What is it with you? Me? You're the one being difficult. I mean, gosh. Guys, you shouldn't. You. Guys! We'll just put down either salami or cheese for now. We've got to move on. Fine, 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 fine whatever. Sure. I mean, go I ahead. Just saying, you know. Boy, yeah. crabby. So after the telephone rings and she answers, the. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, you could do that on the show. It'd be great. Yeah, and buggers can fly out of my nose. <laughs> yeah, and all this stuff can fly out the bed and all this goop and slime and stuff. Up and down, like little salami with the Okay, so Betty wakes up and says, Oh, what a beautiful day! And then the telephone... Or doorbell. Or doorbell ringing, and she answers it and says hello. And then the salami... Or cheese! Or cheese! Says, I hate baloney, and attacks her through the phone before belching while all the stuff comes out of his mouth where we hold on him for a long time. Okie dokie. So, then, she walks up to the counter and... Hold it! What? Hmm. You know, I was thinking... Yes! Do we really need the cheese at all? What? Why, you big stupid What? Coward. What did I say? Why do you know I'm not attacking you? I'm attacking you, I'm attacking you stupid old idea! Step 47 to step 7212. Draw lots and lots of little pictures. Salami chase sequence. You know what I think of that? There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know the big cheese climax ending? <laughs> you stupid lousy. You call your cheese an anime. You can't even draw stick on, figures. On your cartoons aren't even funny line. enough to be on the face. Hey guys, just came by to pick up the finished film. I'll give you a couple minutes to wrap things up, okay? Great, great. I'll zip this on over to the executives. Thanks a bunch. Let me say before we start that I'm very happy with this. It's about deli meats. Deli meats? And if you pick this up for 893 episodes, you'll get more of the same. Okay, hit the lights. <laughs> Character on the show. I am better than both the salami and the bologna combined. Oh, oh. Hello? Notice 
the texture of this meatloaf, and the pineapples give it a festive touch. Uh... I am the cheese. I am the best character on the show. I am better than both the salami and the bologna combined. Hello? I am the best character on the... The meatloaf should be spongy, yet firm. Salami, better than the bologna, feel better than the bologna. Embrace it. So...